back from a graphic extras in this quick tutorial or relatively quick tutorial we'll show you the graphic novel filter in Photoshop Elements 12 and it's a quite a good filter it's actually quite decent graphic novel but the one good thing about Photoshop things like layers and I'm just gonna now do layer duplicate layer and I'm actually going to apply the effect to this layer the graphic novel one just going to go to sketch graphic novel and this is one of the new filters from with version 12 takes a few seconds to uh, go and I'm just going to select fine detail I quite like that one so fine detail I think that actually looks the, the nicest of the uh, black and white effects and I'm just going to apply that apply that takes a few seconds now you've actually got this effect of course you've still got the underlying layer that's the key thing and you can actually of course apply difference modes uh, multiply etc etc here there's a whole load of blending modes color dodge so you can actually see the color through screen multiply which hardly makes any difference then but the key thing here you can also apply effects to the lower one of course you could apply the graphic novel maybe with different settings it might create different uh, lines but what I'm going to do is actually go to filter blur I'm just going to blur it just slightly and straight away you've actually created a slightly different line effect than if you were actually just using it on its own if you're just applying the effect on us of course you could actually now take this effect and reapply it using the graphic novel that would be another way of doing it also of course you can apply other filters so there's lots of other filters artistic watercolor that's a nice one just apply it to that one set texture shadow intensity maybe not so dark click OK and straight away you've actually got quite a few different graphic novel or comic book and I, I said I think that with the comic and the graphic novel the split it's a bit un artificial since graphic novels don't are not always black and white they're also color as well but anyway so you can actually create thousands of different styles of pen work and just by using combinations of layers and of course you don't have to stop here you can actually stop there you can actually go and create multiple layers and multiple different effects so I'm just going to go now here I'm just I can actually just combine it so obviously layer merge or flatten image let's go there and now of course I can go back to the actual okay duplicate layer again I can actually reuse that again now go to the filter sketch graphic novel And I can go for the fine detail again. Click OK. It will do it eventually. Yes, it's going to start. But of course, like I say, you just combine any kind of effects and create some really interesting line designs. So I'm just going to now go now back up here, and I'm going to use darken, or multiply overlay and so on and so on and I can actually of course go back to this one and I can go to filter and maybe blur that one or maybe use a different blur don't have to use that one I can actually go to filter blur motion blur maybe create some action in the design smear it there. apply another effect artistic good old plastic wrap whatever Ooh, maybe not click OK go there and so on and so on you can just obviously combine this and you can of course once you've actually got this style you've actually can create a whole selection of settings for these you can store all your various steps create an action of course and then you can create a comic book quite quick and easy obviously you don't have to just continue with just this panel you can actually have this style 
apply different effects to create more grittier or noirish like designs using the graphic novel filter. Anyway, I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to Graphic Extras channel. Always adding new tutorials. Thank you much.